Hartley, tell me more about the custom shop in terms of building cabinets and actual amps exactly the way people want them. Well, uh, there are certain things that we, we do. Uh, for instance, uh, all of our cabinets are using little finger joints or some people call them lock joints or whatever. That maximizes the glue area and makes the stiffest cabinet possible. Uh, right now, somebody wanted a, an all ma mahogany cabinet. And it's, this is mahogany. Even the baffle board, the speaker board, is a solid piece of mahogany. And the way that, the way, well, you actually, you, you almost can't buy that. So what we actually did with this is we made it up in the guitar presses up there. So, I mean, if you go to a, uh, if you go to a wood yard and say, look, I want a piece of solid uh, half inch mahogany to make a baffle board out of, forget it, you can't get it. So every one of these are different. These represent every single, every single one of these has a different voice built for a, a different customer. And it's kind of designed in that vein, not exactly like Dumbles, because there's, there's so few of them out there that you don't get to look in them, but we shot for that sound using our ears. So this is, this is what we got. <laughs> That's the dirty channel of the amp, and this amp is a two-channel amp, but it's built in a cascading fashion. So it means if we start here in the clean channel, Tony, give us a little bit of that. We have two triode gain stages in the clean section where we're using from here to here on the amplifier, basically, and master volume down here. When we go to the overdrive, we're adding two more triod stages, which uh, on this amp, the gain structure, we have three ways to control gain of two stages. You have gain trim, which is a signal input to the additional gain stages that we've added now by going to the overdrive mode. The gain knob is the gain of the second stage of gain. The gain level, so you can balance out between clean and dirty sounds, and then master volume, and then a separate presence just on the overdrive channel. So if you want a really glassy, clean channel, but then when you flip to overdrive, ordinarily it would be a little harsh. You can roll a little bit of that back out. But it's capable of getting a pretty thick lead tone, but yet still stays very defined and it really sings. Lots of good punch, real thick, viscous sound. It doesn't mush out at all. Just so everybody knows, on the signal chain here for the demo, we've got a 57. And tell me about this guitar. This is a custom shop guitar, Omniac, with a maple top. We got the pickup screwed right to the body, Seymour Duncan's um, Rosewood fretboard, 25 and a half inch scale. Very cool guitar, very straightforward, very traditional, but with modern flexibility to it, so I can actually get around a little bit easier on it. Cool. So if somebody digs what they just heard and they're interested in this amp, what's, what's the process? The process is they, they could look and say, okay, hey, I saw this 50L6D, how do I get one? And we say, well, okay, do you want one just like that? This one here is a little bit customized, being that it has a custom Tolex job, and that'll be from a menu when you order it. And there's an upcharge for that. Black, of course, would be the standard color. Or we could go as far as somebody to say, hey, I want that, but in 100 watts. Well, we can do it. And they'll say, hey, can I have an amp like that, but four channels? These three gain controls I described earlier, you can drive this section very little and get more of a cleaner, almost like a, a clean amp pushed type of sound. But notice it's not out of your splitting levels. So you can get that at any volume you want. This clean volume is also still affecting gain of the overdrive section. So you can use that. Now it's more of like a loose, like a tweed era type sound. Or you can do it the other way. We got all the gain. Very thick sounding. 